Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Capricorn, I do want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that follow my Instagram and those of you that don't. I highly encourage you to go uh, find me on Instagram as we will be doing what we did the past two years, uh, which is provide for all of you guys a free one question reading. Uh, this is something you guys definitely have live, so we will be doing that again. This year, we're going to be doing it in December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time. So now is the time to um, stay tuned for that. Now, for those of you guys that are also or have been following me for quite a while, you guys know that we're going to be doing the December giveaways. Uh, so I will be announcing that on my next spell video, uh, but we're going to be providing... Um, we're going to be providing um, amulets. We're going to be providing um, from our soap line. We will also be giving uh, some of the soaps away as well. So you guys, again, like I said, definitely stay tuned for the next spell video as I will be letting you guys know how to participate. Okay, let's get into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019. Now your first card in regards to your finances, you have the moon card. So the moon card could represent or symbolize um, currently going through a phase or a situation where perhaps for a lot of you guys, um, you're being pulled a lot by your intuition. So the moon card could represent a lot of things that are being kept hidden, but I feel that this is really tapping into your psychic abilities, Capricorn. Um, so definitely start paying attention to your intuition, start paying attention if you have been experiencing prophetic dreams, pay attention to that as well, as I feel that this is definitely going to bring to you almost a breakthrough in regards to your finances. Now, for those of you guys that are or practice or work in the creative field, whether it's writing music, whether it's, um, you know, authors, um, whether it's whatever it is that is a creative outlook. Um, I feel that you guys are going to be very, very inspired this month of December. I feel that you're going to be guided. You're going to be, you know, even people uh, finding yourself around people that are really going to put you on Capricorn. Uh, and the reason I say that is I'm not sure if you guys can see here in this card. But there is. There's like a, a, a pack of wolves in the back. But I feel that they're coming towards you as protectors. So again, um, this is definitely talking about uh, experiencing a lot of opportunities in regards to your finances. But it's almost in in a very like in a spiritual in a spiritual realm or in a spiritual connection to that of your uh, of the money flow or your finances. If you feel that, for example, those of you guys that are trying to invest or those of you guys that have retired and are looking towards investing, uh, pay attention to your intuition. Don't go off of what people are telling you, but go off on the energy that you're feeling when people are telling you certain things. Based off of that, make your decisions. Because I feel that your, your intuition is going to be very sharp and very on point, Capricorn. Now, in regards to your communication, you have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups could represent, for those of you guys that are currently single, it could represent having a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. For those of you guys that are uh, perhaps maybe dealing with a water energy, Capricorn, Cancer, sorry, not Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but this can also represent confusion, confusion in the sense of, okay, so we have two very water, heavy water energy cards here, and I feel that Again, through any confusion that you're currently going through, Capricorn, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your finances, whatever you feel that you need clarity for or clarity in regards to a certain situation, even people, uh, certain uh, people around you, I feel that there's like a lot of commotion, a lot of like confusion is what, I, is what I'm sensing and what they're saying is, Pay attention to your intuition, Capricorn. You're not going to be led astray. You're going to, I almost see you like walking into a room and people around you 
or people that you've been around talking not in a positive way about you, Capricorn. Um, but I feel that that's the moment when you realize like the mask comes off. So I, I see you guys like being guided spiritually, heavily spiritually guided. Um, but I also feel that spirit is going to be putting you in situations where the mask of certain people, the facade of certain people will start to come uh, or fall off of them and you'll be able to see them clearly for who and what they are and I feel that this is going to be very pivotal for you guys especially if it's connected to relationships if you are currently dealing with the water energy or uh, your partner is a water sign I feel that there is a lot of like things that have been kept hidden or have been kept like unbeknownst to you, but I feel that all of that is going to be playing out in the month of December for you. So pay attention to that. Now, in regards to your challenge here for the month of December, you have the Emperor card. So yeah, uh, this is very much connected to, again, the confusion and the energies um, of people that perhaps are not sincere around you. And with the Emperor card, uh, this speaks directly about structure. And you see how he's guarded, how he's wearing his shield of armor and protecting himself. I feel that this month of December, Capricorn, any people that come into your life or any people that go out of your life, allow them to. Let them walk away if that's what they want. Show them the freaking door. You hear me? Show them the door. I feel that you have to take care of yourself, Capricorn. Now, the shield can also represent your physical body. So again, pay very close attention. If you've been working tirelessly and not getting enough rest, um, working very long hours, I can relate. <laughs> what they're saying, <coughs> excuse me. What they're saying here is definitely pay attention to that. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> this California weather is crazy, you guys. It's like, Oh, it's so freezing, and then it stops raining, and then it starts raining again, and it's just ridiculous, and it's just, <clears throat> I love rain, so you know my ass already got some jars of water out there, but anyways, what they're saying here is, again, structure. Structure is going to be something very important for this month, and I feel that you guys are shedding a lot, uh, shedding and detoxifying your energy, people around you, so again, any changes or any endings, let them go, let them go. This is going to be your safe haven. This is going to be only the people that shall remain are the people that are worthy of having you in their lives, Capricorn, okay? Anyone else walking away, let them. Show them the door, but don't look back. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you have the Ten of Cups. So, Capricorns, for those of you guys that have been single for a while, I definitely do see a relationship starting to build here. Uh, for some of you guys, it could actually come from a friendship, and it could be like a long friendship, a, a person you've known for a very long time. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a serious monogamous relationship, I do feel that December and January are going to be very prosperous for you in regards to your love and romance. I do see a lot of emotional fulfillment as well as being able to see goals and aspirations being finally accomplished Capricorn. So again, a lot of happiness and, and positive energy around you. So what they're saying is that in the beginning of December, you may start to see people for who they truly are. And even if it's like, um, even if it's like uh, people that we care about, that we love, you know, if, if they're showing you something about themselves, like take it for what it is. And if they feel the need to walk away, let them walk away, show them the door close the door and don't look back, okay? Because I feel that all of this is going to bring to you a lot of new beginnings, Capricorn. Now, I'm going to be pulling out car, a card that is specifically for you, Capricorn, and this is Spirit's message directly towards you. So let's see what Spirit has to say in regards to your general message for the month of December 2019. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Capricorn, the month of December, 2019. Okay, let's do this one. 
Okay. So what they're saying is nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. All right. So I feel that this is very di directly connected to that of things that are going to be coming out in the open. If you can see here in this card, it's like really, really dark, right? But you can see the glow of the glow of the moon illuminating the dark sky. So if you're feeling like you're confused or if you're feeling like you're even doubting people around you or doubting your partner, what they're saying is pay attention to that because you're going to be guided. You're going to be basically they're going to be shining the light on that which has been dark or unbeknownst to you. Pay attention to that. And when you finally see that, take it for what it is, Capricorn. All right. And should you try to fix or help those that the mask falls, those that are not or have not been genuine with you, should you try to save them or should you try to give them another opportunity? Nothing is going to come of that. So understand that Capricorn. I feel that whatever is working, stay with and com continue pushing through. Whatever is not, whatever is not, I mean, toss it out. Toss it out and stop dealing with those people. We don't need to toxic energy for 2019 or sorry, for 2020. So pay attention to that. Okay, Capricorn. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see each other soon. Bye.